In this video, I'm going to reveal an exact step-by-step -step strategy you can use to generate leads with affiliate marketing so you can start having leads flooding in every single day like clockwork. But before I dive in, let's go ahead and roll the intro. Hey, Gary Perry here and welcome to today's video. Now, before I share with you this exact step-by-step -step framework you can apply to any niche in any real business online, I wanna share with you if you wanna discover how I'm personally generating 70 plus leads a day in my own business on total autopilot, be sure to go to the link under this video. Now, I remember when I first got started on my journey to generate leads with affiliate marketing. I was following a lot of people online and some people were saying, go out there and go on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and be everywhere, you know, and post your links and try to do all this work. And I was constantly confused. You know, I felt like I was running on this hamster wheel and I was never actually seeing any results. I was working as a waiter. I was working long hours on my feet all day. I'd come home at the end of my shift and I'd peck around on the computer just trying to solve this whole thing because I thought, you know, if I get enough leads going to my link every single day, then I was gonna be able to create the income to quit the job that I really didn't enjoy. Now, maybe you can relate to that story. Maybe that's where you're at right now. You're going out there, you're posting, but no one's really going to your link, right? And if no one's going to your link, you're not gonna be able to make the commissions. So what I wanna do is break down, again, a very simple step-by-step -step process that I discovered after a lot of trial and error that I've used time and time again to generate tons of leads, but not just random leads, leads that are highly qualified that decide to buy whatever it is I'm promoting. So the very first step is you need to focus on one specific platform online to generate leads. A lot of people online, they try to confuse you. They try to just try to make a quick buck on you. They try to sell you different products that are teaching you, you know, Facebook and Pinterest and all this stuff. And you're constantly confused because you don't have enough time in the day to even, you know, master two, let alone one, right? So what I highly recommend you do, if you look at every top successful affiliate marketer, virtually all of them got started in one main platform. And then maybe later when they started making money, they started to diversify, they started to spread themselves out. So what you wanna do is you wanna pick one social media platform or one paid traffic source and master it. I personally liked YouTube. Now at the link below, that training is specifically YouTube. Now don't worry, you don't have to show your face and you don't even have to create the videos if you don't want to, as you'll see at the link below. But if you like something else, maybe you prefer Twitter, you know, maybe you like Instagram, pick one that you enjoy and focus on that. Every single day, study it. Every single day, go through training and learn how to master that one platform. That's the first step because again, if you're working a job, maybe you have kids, a family, you don't have enough time to do all this other stuff. Focus on one and start to do that. Now the next step is you need to start building a following, okay? Now this really pertains to social media marketing, okay? If you're doing paid traffic, such as running Google ads and things like that, then obviously you don't need to really build a following. But if you maybe don't have a lot of money right now or you just wanna do free marketing, social media, posting, then you wanna focus on building a following. Now, how do you do that, okay? So let's say for the sake of this example, you wanna start with Instagram, okay? Maybe you like taking photos, you're just always on Instagram. You can start on Instagram and what you wanna do is focus on gaining targeted followers because the more followers you get, the more potential people that are gonna see your posts go to your link and decide to buy, okay? So you wanna be building a following. Now, how do you do this? One simple tip specifically on things like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, is you can follow a certain amount of people per day and a portion are gonna follow you back, okay? Specifically, if you create a good looking profile, you have a good cover, you have a good uh, profile photo, then people are gonna follow you back at consistent ratios, okay? It may be like 10 to 20% follow back, but if you stay consistent, you follow, or if you're on Facebook, you send friend requests to you know 20 to 50 people a day, then a portion are gonna follow you back. And if you follow the right people, okay, if you go to 
you know, profiles, let's say on Instagram that are in your niche and you follow people that are following that profile, then you know they're interested in the niche you're in and then you'll start to gain those followers. So that's the first step is to start to build a following. You don't need a massive following to make great income, okay? But you do need to start getting a following. Now, the next step is you need to be posting content. Now, what type of content and what do I post? whatever type of content is relevant to your niche in that platform. So again, using the Instagram example, typically it's photos. So you can go ahead and look at other profiles in your niche, competitors, and you can study and see, okay, what type of posts are they posting? What type of photos? A good rule of thumb is anything valuable to your target market, anything valuable to your ideal customer. Who is that ideal person that would be interested in buying the product you're promoting and what type of content would they be interested in? So for example, if you're in the make money online niche, which I know a lot of my following is, tips on you know generating leads, tips on building a business, motivation, lifestyle, travel, these are all you know, ideas, these are all topics within the make money online niche that you can post about. If you're in the health and fitness niche, you know, you can share recipes, you can share, you know, five steps to a good bench press, right? So you can share different tips and things that will help people in your ideal niche. And why you wanna do this is because this is gonna get people to know, like, and trust you, okay? This is gonna get people to actually start to look at you as an authority in your niche. And this is gonna lead us to the next step. Inside of that content, usually towards the end or let's say you're posting on Instagram in the caption, you wanna give a call to action. You wanna tell people, go to the link in my bio to learn more. Now, you wanna do the call to action in a specific way. A lot of people just say, hey, go to my link and they don't give them any reason to do that. So you're not getting a lot of people going to your link and you're not generating leads, right? Because a lead is someone that actually goes to your website, right? They check out more information. So in order to do that, in order to construct a very compelling call to action, you wanna do a couple things. One is you wanna make the call to action relevant to the problem your target market has. So let's go to the health and fitness example again. If you're in the health and fitness niche and maybe you're promoting a product that teaches people how to lose 10 pounds in two weeks, okay? What you can do is you can actually post a piece of content, let's say a photo, that's like a recipe, okay? So it gives people a recipe on how to lose weight, you know, with a specific food. Then in the caption, you can say, you know, like this photo if you enjoyed it, and then you give the call to action. If you wanna discover how to lose 10 pounds in two weeks, be sure to go to the link in my bio. So you're telling people to go to the link in your bio, but you're giving them a very compelling result. And typically this result can be found on the affiliate you know, sales page, on that link. You can see what selling point, what angle they're using, and you can use this as your call to action. So think about me inside of this very video. I'm building a following on YouTube. I'm giving content, okay? So I'm teaching lead generation for affiliate marketers, okay, which is my target market. And then I gave a call to action in the beginning and I'll give a call to action as you pay close attention and notice, I'll give a call to action towards the end of the video to go to the link below and check out my training on how to get 70 plus leads a day on autopilot. Now, notice what I'm doing. I'm giving a very compelling reason, but I'm also building curiosity. And that's my final tip inside this video is you wanna build curiosity with your calls to action. How do you build curiosity? You leave out information. So for example, let's say the product you're promoting in the health and fitness niche teaches people how to lose 10 pounds in two weeks, and it does so by using you know, the keto diet. Well, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna, in your caption or on your social media, you don't wanna say specifically keto or with this exact method and then list the method because now people don't have any reason to go to your link and you won't generate any leads. Like if I told you exactly what the training at the link below was and I listed it all, you wouldn't be as motivated. But if I say, hey, I'm gonna share with you a secret strategy to how I'm personally generating over 70 leads a day like clockwork, even while I'm sleeping, and you'll be able to discover that secret strategy at the link below, you can probably find yourself becoming even more curious, right? So that's the difference. That's what you wanna do. So as you follow these steps, 
you will start to naturally generate leads because a lead is simply someone that's curious to find out more information. Now, if you're on Facebook, you can tell people comment below for information or message me for more information. And then once people message you, you just send them the link to your affiliate offer. So there we have it, my friend. I really hope you got value and you now understand affiliate marketing lead generation. Be sure to like the video if you got value. Subscribe to the bell icon. I'm gonna be posting daily videos solving your specific problems. And until next time, my friend, thanks so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.